welcome back to A Splash of Paint. It's time for us now to rejoin Vic as he completes his pastel portrait, demonstrating how this exciting and creative medium can produce stunning paintings. Okay, welcome back to our sort of Renaissance portrait sketch and these lovely sanguine colours on the sand uh, below. So what we've got to do now, we, we have our basic uh, tunnel values and face shapes uh, sorted out, uh, roughly where we want them, I'm quite happy with that. What I'm going to do next uh, for the final stage is adjust the highlights and the darker shadows, the final details if you like. So I'm going to use a, an ivory hard pastel to begin with. This is going to be my highlight colour. I don't want to use white because white is actually very strong. I always prefer to use ivory if, if I can. Uh, first of all, I'm going to address the eyes, I think. So we'll get some of the highlights around the eyes and that will help us to visualise uh, the darker parts of the eyes that need, maybe need some final tweaking or something like that. So we'll put a little bit of a highlight on the upper lids, which are just around here. The thing is, if you do the ivory highlights now, because you're going over the red-brown hard pastel a little bit as well, that gives you a chance then to go back with that pastel and sharpen up any areas that need to be sharpened up. Remember, the lower rim catches the light from above, because it is like a little ledge. So stroke that uh, highlight in there. Same on the other side, a soft ivory highlight on the upper lid where the light's catching. And this will give you the shape of the eye as well. Slightly stronger highlight on the lower lid. Okay, so quite happy with those at the moment. Put in a little suggestion of the whites of the eye. Not too strong, I don't want those to be uh, glaring. So a little soft touch of ivory on there will help to get the round shape of the eyeballs as well, which we'll come back to shortly. The nose, well we have a, a highlight on the nose, a squarish shape on this, in this case, going across the nose like that, and slightly upwards. Remember that uh, the purpose of using this sand coloured paper is to get an overall skin tone. Artists like Da Vinci and Dura, Raphael used to use this technique uh, with the sanguine pastel or charcoal on a toned paper in order to prepare sketches for paintings or just to uh, work out how tones, soft tones and sharp shading worked in the human figure and the human face. I'll have a little bit of a light just between the eyebrows there. I can bring those eyebrows in a little bit more if I want to. I'm going to put some uh, broader highlights on the forehead. So use the side of the pastel for this. Again, not too strong. Ivory is great for this because white would be so very glaring. I want to keep it all nice and soft. Now, the cheeks, running down from the side of the nose, just enhance those cheekbones a little bit. And down the side there. Think about a three-dimensional shape on a two-dimensional surface, so the cheekbones go that way or also rounded that way. So almost use your pastel for, if you like, sculpting the face using tonal values. And it's sculpting, if you like, in this sense, is always better than drawing it out. Once you draw out a portrait in a linear drawing, then it uh, somehow becomes quite false. This is much more softer and, and much more natural. So we have a little highlight coming down to the top lip. And the highlights are as well, uh, always the highlights are your final shaping. So you can do a lot of corrections by adjusting the highlights, little details here and there. So there's our lips. So a little soft uh, area of skin there, just at the bottom of the lips. This gives the, uh, the lips a bit more volume, of course, around the mouth. It's almost pouting look, and softer on that side, that side in shadow. And some highlights on the lower lip, because the lower lip is, is catching the light. So this is going to get the, the stronger highlights. And the chin. So a rounded chin there, catching highlight more on that side. And it's a highlight that gives the chin the shape, of course, the rounded shape. And keep squinting at it, and then we'll have a, a 
much softer highlight there. We don't want that to be too strong, that's in shadow. At the same time, we can do the, the shoulder. So we can do the shoulder there. Just suggest it with the highlight, the collarbone the same. So all these are hints of what's going on below the important bit, which is the face. So it, it gives us a su suggestion of the neck and the shoulder area. Uh, we'll do a little bit on the, the veil stroke cloth cap. I think it's actually a veil, so we can highlight that to let us know there's something going on. And a few little highlights in the hair. But again, we're not going to do individual hairs, just thinking about the shape and the volume. Okay, and then we'll come back to the eyes. Before we do that, just add a tiny little edge to the draw around here. So it's visible. And then we'll come back to the eyes. So first of all, I just want to do a little bit of reshaping with the sanguine pastel. So I'm going to bring the eyebrows in ever so slightly and give them more definition, of course, at this point. And same on that side. And make it a little bit darker underneath the eyebrows there, just for depth. And then we'll go to the eyes themselves. So I want the eye line at the top to be a little bit stronger. That's the main shadow, the main definition. And then the eye itself, the iris and the pupil. Again, the same definition, same color. And same on this side, so a little bit more definition in the upper eyelid line. Keep squinting at it to make sure you can see it. A little bit of a fold in the skin there, and then the eye itself, and the pupil. So we'll come back to the reflections in a little while. So make sure the eyes are looking at you, and then we'll go around just tidying up the rest of it a little bit before we put our final sparkly highlights on. So strengthen shadows, add detail, this point, whatever you feel you need to do, check the shape. We can always adjust the shape as well. So if this is looking a little bit fat round here, then bring it in a little bit with your red-brown sanguine pastel. Softly. So then we rub it in like that and we get a nice soft edge to it. It gives it a slightly more dainty shape, I think. Maybe the same on this side. We can bring it in a, a little bit more. And this is the beauty of this technique. You can almost constantly reshape. So you can start off with something that's a little bit maybe fatter and gradually bring it in so it make the features more delicate. If you start off with an outline, then what you tend to do is pretty much stick with that outline that you've got, whether it be right or wrong. And of course, don't leave yourself any room for maneuver. Again, we can go nice and mad with the darks down here now because we've pretty much got the jawline set where we want it. So we can really scrub in a lot of tone for the hair hanging down here. And just going mad. It's a mass of curly hair. So we can just put that in as a huge voluminous dark mass. And the same here as well. Of course, that dark mass will help to push our face forward. At the same time, just strengthen these shadows in the curls a little bit. Uh, I'll put a little bit of, bit of background tone in as well. That will help to bring the, the veil forward. And uh, give the whole thing a little bit of framing. OK, so before I put my final highlights on, I'm just going to check. This is very much a modeling process, remember, a building up process. A little bit of darker shadow on the eyeball itself. Maybe slightly darker underneath the eye. And slightly more shadow underneath the nose. Final shaping around here. Uh, slightly darker on the lips. 
So it's always just checking those final shadows. And then to finish it all off, we'll, we'll bring it to life with some reflections in the eye. So a nice sharp edge with your ivory pastel about here. And same on that side. And just a little bit in the corners of the eyes as well, just to refresh them slightly. And the lower rims, just to bring them out. And there we are. So there's our classic style portrait, Renaissance style portrait, with a, a hint to the Pre-Raphaelites in sanguine and ivory on sample of paper. See you next time. Thanks Vic, brilliant work as always. Now before we end today's programme, if you've got any burning art questions, drop us a quick email at a splash of paint at sa.co.uk. So that's all for today folks, join us next time where Hazel Sohn shows us how to make the most of the time we have and Fraser Scarf gives us an insight into some of the UK's best love arts. See you next time. For your chance to get connected with thousands of other viewers who enjoy a splash of paint, visit www.saa.co.uk and link up with like-minded artists and groups from within your local community.